Okay, today class we're going to learn about rule of thirds. Rule of thirds is an essential building block for filmmaking. Okay, so think about Riyadh, I'm going to need you to Sorry. wake up. No, it's early. Related to rule of thirds is the mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the cell. Uh, Riyadh, I need you to wake up. Please. Sorry. Sorry. I need you to stay awake. Sorry. Okay, so we're back to rule of thirds. Right. Guys, have a great break. I will see you next week. Make good decisions. All right, guys, welcome back from the break. What break? Somos tus hosts favoritos, Cami G. En David G. Y bienvenidos al mes de la herencia hispana. Luces, cámara, acción. My name is Lillian Hilton. I'm a pitcher utility and I'm a senior. Uh, teachers are important because they teach us most of our core classes and everything we need to know and not only that, my teachers personally have taught me how to be more social and how to kind of handle things in everyday life. My favorite teacher is Miss Jonas. She's been my orchestra teacher for three years and I love her so much and she helps me with colleges, she helps me with homework, she helps me with my annoying teenager life and she's the best. My name is Diamond Leslie, I'm a senior and I play outfield. Teachers are important because they teach us a lot of new things in life. My favorite teacher is Coach Wise because he's always supportive and he's always making sure I'm doing the right thing. My name is Ella Jacobs, I play second base and third base and I'm a sophomore. Teachers are important because without them we would never learn anything and they help us to be better in the future. One of my favorite teachers is Coach Birdsong. I like him because he's always like trying to make things interactive and he's just nice and is always there for you.
My name is Macklin Hennessy. I am a teacher here at Centennial High School. I am the Social Studies Department Chair, and I also sponsor the Model UN Club. What made me decide to be a teacher? It's kind of a roundabout story. I always liked history growing up. I played a lot of historical video games uh, as a kid. And so when I went off to college, I kind of always thought, well, teaching could be an option. I went into college undecided. I didn't declare a major until my second semester freshman year when my dad kind of forced me to. And at that point, I just said, you know what, let me put down history, let me put down education, and I'll change my mind if I come up with something better. And I never did. I never came up with anything better, and it was the best non-decision I've ever made. Outside of school right now, pretty much all of my time is caught up by my uh, six-month daughter, uh, Lucy. And so I spend as much time with her I can, as I can uh, when I get home and then on the weekends. This year's been great so far. Um, I've got a good group of students, some of them here around me. Uh, they've been doing really well. They've got a lot of personality. Uh, my sixth period likes to talk a lot. Overall, they're, they're fantastic. No, I think it's a great year. I'm looking forward to getting to know them a little better and to, yeah, teaching them a lot about world history. My favorite teacher is Coach Birdsong because he makes class fun and he's entertaining. My favorite teacher is Miss Vaughn and I like her because she is like very entertaining and engaging with the class and she makes learning fun. My name is Gail Ritchie and I am one of the assistant principals here at Centennial. Well, we start off in the morning. We're usually in one of our duty spots. Mine's in the cafeteria for anybody who goes there. And then we usually uh, talk as a team. We quickly talk about our day, what we're each going to be doing. So for me, my day might be going into classrooms, supporting teachers in their planning meetings. I do scheduling, so I was really busy at the beginning of this year getting all your guys' schedules straightened out, just answering emails, supporting students, and supporting teachers. Ooh, watching Suits. We're just about to start season five. Uh, before I was in education, I was actually in healthcare, but now that I'm watching Suits, I kind of think I might have liked to have been a lawyer. Definitely macaroni and cheese, because who does not like mac and cheese? Amazing. That chem test last week wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. How'd you do? Are you serious? I was lost in some of it. I got a 77. <sighs> 91. I missed it by two points, so... Did you hear who got the high score, though? Sawyer? No, it was Quinn. Are you serious? Quincy Adam Surge off from 585 South Shore Place in Martin's Landing? Shh! This is my mom's office. But yeah, the one and only. All the stars were aligned. I bet Sawyer isn't too happy. Nope. Did you see them studying last week? Sawyer was so stressed. It is pretty funny though. Talk about Mutt and Jeff. Who? Mutt and Jeff. Are they in our grade? Seriously, Holly? <laughs> the world, that understandable and lawful world, was slipping away. Hey, you look like you've seen a ghost. What's wrong? Yeah, I'm good. Just reading Lord of Flies. Ah, loss of innocence. Man's inherent evil. The dangers of mob mentality. Yeah, sounds like today's headlines. I gotta change my outlook right now. I know just how to do that. Dance party. <laughs> My name is Nina Bernier and I'm in AV2. 
I joined AV because my dad was a photographer and I really enjoyed being behind a camera. A typical week producing The Loft is a bit stressful depending on what segment I have to do, but it's pretty fun. My name's Mr. Beekner and I'm the teacher here at AV Tech. I enjoy the wonderful chaos here in F24. There's always something going on, whether it's filming, brainstorming, editing, it's always just such a great thing to see all the creativity that's happening. Our slogan here is elevate, so always trying to do something a little bit better, a little bit higher. We're off to a really good start in all levels, but having four great shows in August was you know, beyond my expectation. We're really doing great things in all the different levels. My name is Camille Tucker. I'm in AV3. What I really enjoy is the teacher, Mr. Beekner, how he always keeps a positive attitude. He's really supportive of all of us, and I love how we're just like a big family and we all like can get along, we're all like comfortable with each other. I decided to join AV because I wanted to take up a new hobby, and filming looked really interesting. A typical day would be Mr. Beekner would give us a script or maybe any kind of short film to do and we have a deadline of when it has to be turned in which is on Thursday. Go Knights. ¿Y estás viendo? El loft. ¿Qué es esto? Hi, I'm Miss Rains. I teach English at Centennial, and right now I'm reading the book Killers of the Flower Moon. It is about um, the Osagi murders and the birth of the FBI. So it's literary journalism, which means it's a nonfiction book. So it's based on all true events, and it goes through kind of a crime, um, like interesting murder mystery type. Um, set up and it, it's all about how kind of the FBI came to be too during the 1920s. What makes this book interesting is that it's all based on real events and it feels like I'm watching a Western movie which is one of my favorite genres. Um, it's full of pictures and maps and lots of really interesting details. The author does a really good job of making this nonfiction story feel like a very interesting fictional experience. So I haven't quite finished this book yet. I'm still in the process of reading it, but so far I think I would rate it an eight out of 10. It's super engaging, it's really interesting, um, and I would recommend it to anyone who likes learning about historical fiction, who's interested in literary journalism, or people who are into like crime podcasts or true crime type stuff, anything like that, um, this would be a really good read for you. I'm Coach Birdsong, and I am here today with another chemistry experiment. And today we are going to turn it into a little game. So I've got a yellow solution and a white solution. And your job is to predict what color you think these solutions are going to turn into. So shout it out, write it down, lock in your answer, and we will see if you are right. Ready? Let's see it. Wow. If you got a rich, solid, dark purple as your answer, you are exactly right. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to tune in next week and go nights. Okay.
Today's weather is going to be foggy and cloudy. The highest is going to be 80 and the lowest is going to be 65. We're getting into more of the cooler weather, so if you're like me, you're going to really enjoy that for the football games. Because I know I don't like being around all those people and being hot and sticky. I mean, who wants that? I obviously don't. But hey, theme tonight is USA. Wear your colors. Go Knights. Yeah! This is Man on the Street. Would you rather speak all the languages in the world or communicate with animals and why? I would rather communicate with animals because I love my dog and I want to know what she's thinking. What's your favorite song and can you sing it for us? Uh, I can. My favorite song is uh, Olivia Rodrigo. Okay, and how does it go? All the songs at once uh, just uh, blend into a beautiful uh, emo melody. This isn't even plugged in. Favorite song? Favorite song? Probably Enchanted by Taylor Swift. Ooh, can you sing it for us? <laughs> I'd rather not. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you think Cardi is going to drop this year? Do you think what? Cardi is going to drop this year. Uh, yeah, I think so. Awesome. Would you rather know and speak and understand all languages in the world or be able to speak to animals? Oh. Speak to animals, right? Why? Well, I mean, I feel like I... I've had enough of people, and I want to know what the animals think, no, that's right? Totally fair. Do y'all? I mean, are y'all familiar with Wild Thornberries, that old show? Okay, well, I'm old, but look it up. Look it <laughs> okay. up. Mm -hmm. Talk to animals. Do you think your child has riz? If my child has what? Riz. What's it is? Can they spit game? Games. Your next few words, the whole entire world could hear. What would you say? Stay in peace. No war. What is your favorite song, and can you sing it for us? Wow. Favorite song would have to be... Yep. Yeah. Yep, that's it. Would you rather speak all the languages in the world or communicate with animals? Communicate with animals. Why? Because I love animals and I really like to know what my dog's saying when yeah. she barks at <laughs> Do you think Cardi will drop this year? Cardi? Yeah. I don't even know who Cardi is. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Thanks for answering. Okay, that's all we need. Thank you so much. What do you think of Mini Batman? Well, he's sleek and small, right? Yeah, just a little bit. Powerful. Always. If the whole world could hear your next couple of words, what would you say? Be happy. Be happy? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Welcome to What's in the Bag. Today on What's in the Bag, the item in the bag is a banana with Q-tips. Okay, so I'm here with... Brock Norman. Joaquin. And today we're playing What's in the Bag. You have 15 seconds to figure out what's in the bag. You ready? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, go. Uh, uh, is it uh, a banana? It's like a banana with nails in it. Final answer? Banana. A banana with Q-tips. Oh. Yeah, it's a banana with nails in it. It's not a banana with nails in it. What is it? A banana with Q-tips. Oh, okay. Well, nails are like harder. Good job. So you need the flowers, one sixty gram of flowers a pinch of uh, salt. You can put two eggs or four, depends on people that you're gonna have, okay? And then a half spoon of sugar, okay? You put a cup of uh, milk and uh, a spoon of oil. And then you mix the whole thing in the bowl mm -hmm. and uh, voila. So I just do this? So she's gonna turn this, the, this thing, okay? Let her sit a little bit and then, okay. Okay, something like that, and then you have to let her cook. You have to let her cook for, oh sorry. Can we try and just do spatula? Here you go. Ooh, ooh. So, so after that, you're gonna try to make one thing. Oops. The explosion ruined the crepe. Here is what a crepe actually looks like. Stay in school nights. I'm Brody Voss. And I'm Talon Rice. And you're watching CSPN. CSPN.
Centennial softball team had three games this week. Next week, they have two home games, Monday and Tuesday, and on Thursday, they have an away game. How do you think the football team will do tonight? Uh, I think Centennial will win the game. Uh, I think the football team is going to win 34-28. Uh, Mediocre, I guess. I think they're going to do great. Uh, I mean, this is going to be like a great Friday. You know, USA night, it's going to be amazing. I can't wait. Your Centennial football team had a tough loss last Friday. Tonight, we look to bounce back against Westminster. Que hoy es juego de fútbol americano, la temática es América. Disfruten su fin de semana. ¡Vamos, Knights!